Hey there everyone, assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll show you a quick walkthrough of Windows Phone 8.1 Update 2. I just got this update on my Nokia Lumia 830 just a, just an hour ago. Um, so so I decided to show, show you guys what we get in the second update, second big update to Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, uh, as you recall, Windows Phone 8.1 brought lots of new things like Cortana and Notification Center, but Update 1 brought us the ability to have folders, so we could put apps in folders, and among other things. So let's see what's new in Windows Phone 8.1 Update 2. Uh, so one way you know that you have Update 2 is by going to All Settings, and immediately you'll notice that settings are finally categorized uh, with categorized before you had a one long list of settings that made it that made it really hard to navigate and find what you're looking for there's not even a there there wasn't even a way to search for settings now we can not only uh, seek settings in category but we could also search for it for example for example let's search for phone update update there you go phone update and you could see I'm a, my a new updates being downloaded actually the update that's being downloaded is Windows 10 so I decided to show you guys Windows Phone 8.1 update 2 before my phone gets to Windows 10. But anyway, uh, what we could also jump through different categories by clicking on the name of a category and you see all the categories. For example, let's go to System and go to About. Here you get to see some new stuff here. Um, you can now name your phone. Now the current name is Windows Phone. We could name it, like, let's see my name. For example, Nasmus is Windows Phone. Let's try that. Nas. Mrs. Phone. Naz Mrs. Phone. Let's save that. Cool. Now, now you can see you change the name. Here you could see the model number. It says model Nokia Lumia 830, carrier Fido, and software Windows Phone 8.1 Update 2. You could go get more information if you need to. Now let's see what else is new. Okay. Another thing new that you might notice is rather than having a small circle with the arrow, for all apps, you see, uh, it, it's out. It's actually spelled out for you. It says all apps with an arrow. So I guess that's a way. That's another way for make it e easier for users to find or make it more intuitive for people. And to go back, you could press the back button on your phone right here or swipe back up. Um, another new feature that I can't show you right now is uh, the ability to use external keyboards, a Bluetooth keyboard, for example. Uh, I, I, I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard to show it to you, but it's not going to work because uh, I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard. But if I did, I could have shown it to you. And it, there's actually a great video on uh, Windows Central's YouTube channel. I'll have a link in the description box and the, uh, in the description uh, with the link to the video of Windows Central that shows you um, what you can expect. But yeah, um, there's also... Um, so yeah, there's there's the standard stuff like a personalization. So if you go here, you go to some personalization. There's start plus theme. You could have a white background rather than a black background, like like so. You could change colors. Let's make it cyan, like that. And so for example, the keyboard is also white in this case. And like so, okay. Um, let's go back to black, dark and let's do, let's see, school bus orange. We could, we could, uh, also, let's try changing the color here, uh, changing the background, but there you go. Coming. Okay, well, that was my aunt uh, wants me to close the door. But yeah, you could try other backgrounds here as well, so, and make it look pretty. But yeah, that's all I know about Windows Phone 8.1 Update 2 so far. Uh, if you know of other things, please let me know, definitely. I'd love to know. Uh, if I, I, I probably missed some other uh, cool stuff about Update 2. If I do find it, I will. I might make another video. I might not. I might put in an annotation to this video. We'll find out. Let's see. What photo should I choose? Help me out, guys. Maybe this one? There. Very interesting. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Actually, I don't, let's change the color. Okay, I'm actually having too much fun with this. I don't know why. Magenta. Yeah, there we go. Cool as cool as new. Good as new. Okay, whatever.
Okay, <clears throat> there's uh, uh, there's something else that's pretty cool actually. You could pin um, individual settings uh, settings to the start screen. For example, if I want a quick access to my Wi-Fi, I could pin it to start. And as you'll notice, I have Wi-Fi direct access to Wi-Fi. I could do it with as many apps I, or individual settings I want. So let's uh, so you could just all you have to do is tap and hold a setting and choose pin to start. Also, uh, I, I quickly b b brushed through it is, be, uh, is the update and notif uh, update. <clears throat> Something has been updated since Windows Phone 8.1 update. Uh oh, my update stopped working because, whoa, I'll install it later uh, because I'm trying to show you a video. Uh, uh, this, this is actually a, this is an interim update. Uh, original Windows Phone 8.1 update did not have this feature, but uh, I, this small update is, uh, came, between update one and update two, but I guess you, I could I guess I'll put it as part of update two because you know just to make life easy. Anyway, this is automatic install installation. In the past, Windows Phone did not automatically install update. It it would download updates, but you would have to manually accept the installation. Um, uh, and if you didn't, it wouldn't install. But now, it it'll um. Check the box. Tell me when the updates are available from from, from my phone, and automatically dub, up, download update if my data setting requires it uh, allows it. And you could set the time at which the update will happen. So that's pretty neat. So you don't have to worry about manually updating your phone. Uh, if there's an update, it would automatically download and install the update for you. So yeah. So let's see what else is new. Oh, I got Cortana pinned by default. I don't remember doing that. So I guess that's. Let's see if anything's new in Cortana. I don't, I don't think so. Getting things ready. Interesting. Oh, hey Cortana. Oh yeah, I have an 8:30, so it's the 8:30 current is not working. Hey Cortana. Hey there. What's the weather like today? The forecast shows light showers with a high of 12 and a low of 2. Do you love Master Chief? I don't doodle his name in my notebook, if that's what you mean. Ha, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. What do you think of Siri? I think it's pretty great that we have Bing in common. That's good. Yeah, if you guys didn't know that, Siri is Bing. Uh, by the way, uh, I'll actually, actually, let's hear if she has some new jokes. Hey, Cortana, tell me a joke. A grasshopper walks into a bar. The bartender says, we've got a drink named after you. The grasshopper says, you've got a drink named Steve? <laughs> That's good. Tell me another joke. I told the doctor I broke my arm in two places. He told me not to go into those places. That's pretty good. Tell me a joke. How do you catch a runaway laptop? With an internet. Ah, got it. A net internet. Um, a joke. I'm not a joke. Anyway, uh, I'm not a letter for You're funny. I think of laughter as human vibrate mode. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, anyway, I think I'm having too much fun. Anyway, uh, if you guys know of any other things in Windows Phone 8.1 Update 2, let me know. Um, actually, before I go, let's have a quick look at settings we have Wi-Fi flight mode Bluetooth Bluetooth oh do we have, do we have does it say keyboard options yeah, we don't we don't have keyboard options I mean because I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard with me mobile sim data sense internet sharing NFC VPN start theme inner ringtone on sound lock screen notification actions syncs my settings quiet hours driving mode accessory apps email accounts workplace about brightness screen rotations project my screen storage sense battery saver USB kids corner apps corner photos camera office Cortana daytime language region keyboard easy of access speech location by my phone advertising ID feedback app permissions backup phone update me is anything in backup nope everything's normal uh, extras, audio, these are uh, manufactured extras, so these are made by Nokia. Uh, touch Nokia account, uh, call plus SMS filter, display radars, glance screen, motion data, extras plus info, network plus, and device hub. Well, that's nothing in there. Nothing new in lock screen either, if you were wondering. And yeah, I have 
whoops I have Lumia denim so I have the new camera Whee! look at that there's my favorite teddy bear anyway I'm okay alright thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and like the video bye